God damn, that looks good. I can't wait to get that DVD and add it to my DVD collection. Folks, DVDs are about one thing, and that's remembering pleasant moments. Interestingly enough, that's the point of our next segment. Remember when? I want to be remembering. Going to look at everybody's faces. Remember. Remember. So uh, there's a big review, and uh, John Cena returned after two months um, to defeat Damien, not Damien, to, to defeat, uh, what's his fuck, uh, Alberto Del Rio and win the heavyweight title. A.K.A. what's his fuck. A.K.A. ADR, what's his fuck. Um, <laughs> and then on Raw the next night, uh, uh, fucking Damien Sandow cashed in and John Cena beat him as well. As a result, the internet has been mm, a little hard on John Cena, I think. A little negative, a little unpleasant about John Cena. And you know what? Maybe he didn't have the best match with Alberto Del Rio. Whatever. That's fine. We're not here to split sh- split hairs. We are. That's the point of the show, to talk about wrestling. But I want to I wanna go down another path about John Cena. I want to remember the good times. The impressive John Cena moments. I want to talk about the greatest moments of John Cena's career. Personally, can only I think, I think of two, not only two. I think of two specifically. One is the match he had with CM Punk, where CM Punk was in Chicago. The crowd was insane, and there was the "If Cena wins, we, we riot" signs and everything like that. That was an excellent match. It wasn't just because of the atmosphere; it was a very good match. Sorry, that was not the first time that Cena looked up and saw a "If Cena wins, we riot." sign the first time that he saw that was in the hammerstein ballroom when he wrestled rvd at an ecw pay-per-view and that was madness that was i i have not seen a crowd ever hate cena that much they threw his shirt back at him it was insane and cena went in there and he did what he does and he put on a very good match So, yes, he's not the most electrifying person in the world. He's not whatever, but he can still make good memories. Sorg, tell me about John Cena. I uh, was always a big fan of old uh, rapper John Cena. Um, uh, You know, SmackDown era, really, uh, John Cena, of course. Um, You know, kind of leading up to, you know, his first uh, championship there with JBL. Uh, and I think the epitome of that was, uh, his rap album, which not the best, but really not a bad, uh, uh, album and, and, and kind of, kind of listenable. I was down with that. I was hoping I could find the, the, the bad, bad man video, but I actually ended up with this. I forgot there was more than one video for this. Um, but yeah, it, it unfortunately i couldn't find the cd like that's i don't know if it was just had that limited of a release or what but it was john cena saying no actually yes i am a rapper and i don't just play one on tv so uh (laughs) and that was kind of like the first step of his um i can do anything superstardom wasn't it because you got to see like he had won the championship he was, uh, they did the first, well, the, the, well I guess the second, because the first custom belt was the Spinner US title. Now we have the Spinner WWE title that we had up until just recently, really. Um, you got to think how long we had that belt, you know? Yeah. Uh, like, what, a good seven, eight years, right? Uh, that we had that crazy, gaudy belt for the WWE title. And it's fun. Rob, RVD was very fond of it. Um, so yeah, I, that, I say that album, the bad, bad man video, I thought was a tremendous, um, and it was a great era for John Cena before he kind of settled into, uh, uh, you know, hustle, loyalty, respect that we know him as now. I miss Jersey John Cena, really. <laughs> Amen? Uh, I got one. Uh, I think a big misconception about John Cena, and it's such a sad misconception, is the fact that he can't wrestle. You heard those chants, I think, last night, or maybe it was at the pay-per-view, I don't remember. Um, 
And it's a stupid misconception because he's even even when he's just sort of being John Cena and doing his job, he's very good at what he does. Um, I would take back even to um, – I've mentioned before, the SummerSlam match with him and Daniel Bryan is my favorite match of the year, basically not just because of whatever happened, but because of the physical wrestling involved. It was really great. Uh, but John Cena has proved time and time again that he can actually compete and, and do really well. One of another really big example of that was the – Big match he had on Raw with Shawn Michaels that lasted like, what, an hour? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was like in England. Yeah, it was really good stuff, and it was really compelling. And to his credit also, not many people can work an hour-long match and make it compelling. Hmm. You, and I think a lot of people think just solely because it was an hour long, it automatically makes it a good match. No, the physical wrestling was very good in that match. And and it's it kept your interest and and not many people can do that. So I think John Cena uh, showcased in that you know sort of match that he deserves a bit more credit in that department. In the long run, between that, what he does for that company, what he does for charity, what he does, you know, it goes uh, above and beyond. He may not be the wrestler you want in the WWE, but he's the wrestler you deserve. Right. And he's in. He's <laughs> the wrestler that he deserves to be with this much effort. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, coming back. In half the time he's supposed to, he's always ridiculous with the injuries. And how has that not caught up with him? Oh, absolutely. I mean, and and I, I, maybe we'll get into it a bit later. I told people it's like people. I do like sort of the illustration. The big story is like John Cena overcoming the odds and all that stuff. But it is very impressive in general for him to come back from that injury. Like, however, you know, four months before he was supposed to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As much as people want to say whatever about it, it's very, you know, it needs to be given that respect because not many people can do that. Yeah. It's not physically possible for most people to do that. Like, <laughs> so. Yeah, exactly. So uh, let us know. Uh, we'll put this up again with the clip of the show and everything over on uh, Facebook and Twitter and everything. Remember when, tell us uh, your favorite John Cena st- uh, moment. Uh, LB. Yes, sir. You want to tell me about some t-shirts? I do want to tell you about some t-shirts, Sorg. No, I, I, I can't remember the URL. <laughs> At ProWrestlingTees.com. <laughs> tell me sorry. about the t-shirts, and I'll tell everybody else they can go to ProWrestlingTees.com to check out the... ProWrestlingTees.com, yes! Yes, the home of the finest goddamn t-shirts anywhere in the in continental United States, ProWrestlingTees.com. You could buy, and I know it's been a dream of you for a very long time. Everyone has always thought, God, if I could just get my hands on a Wrestling Mayhem Show t-shirt. Well, now your dream can be a reality. Go to Pro.